At present, the world has to encounter the problems of climate change, environmental degradation, disasters, and epidemics of emerging and re-emerging diseases, which are common health problems of many countries. For Thailand, the guidelines for responding to both groups of diseases affecting people's health have been developed including the systems for disease surveillance, prevention, treatment and control under the One Health concept. For example, working collaboratively in a multidisciplinary manner among officials in the human and animal health as well as environmental sectors. Moreover, Actions are ongoing regarding the development of capacity and preparedness of the management system as well as personnel and knowledge management for efficiently preventing and controlling communicable or infectious diseases according to the internationally recognized standards. Multi-sectoral collaboration at district level, the Ratchaburi model. Located about 100 kilometers west of Bangkok, Ratchaburi is the province well known for dragon jars or glazed water jars with dragon patterns, pottery industries and the Mnern Saduak floating market, a famous tourist attraction. Moreover, Ratchaburi is a regional hub of agricultural products including processed agricultural goods which constitute the main economic structure of the province. Not so far from the Ratchaburi provincial town is Pak Ta district, where this case study is being undertaken, involving the management systems and mechanisms for the surveillance, prevention and control of diseases, as well as health threats. Such systems have been efficient, effective and timely according to the Disease Control Competent District Policy of the Ministry of Public Health, aiming to help all districts to have a strong and sustainable disease control system. In 2011, there was an outbreak of diarrhea in Don Sai Subdistrict and nearby areas in Pak Ta District with 11 reported cases two of whom had died and were elderly persons whose stool examination showed Shigella bacteria even though normally Shigella is found in children's stool. To respond to the outbreak, a war room was established comprising provincial, district and local officials concerned to draw up measures for controlling and preventing the disease and ending the epidemic as soon as possible and took one month and four days to get the outbreak under control. Dr. Surya Kuharat, preventive medicine expert, Ratchaburi Provincial Public Health Office said that the disease control operations had to be undertaken rapidly with close surveillance efforts through collaboration among provincial and district health personnel. Meetings were held with health personnel, community leaders and village health volunteers. In addition, community forums were organized to inform the villagers and the outbreak investigations were performed by the Surveillance and Rapid Response Team, SRRT, one each at the provincial, district and sub-district or Thambon levels. One of the measures used in the diarrhea outbreak control was conducting a survey on weekly marketplaces or Taladnat, and then cooperating with the market owners to implement disease control activities such as setting up a facility for soaking all vegetables in chlorine water before taking home, 
properly managing the market's environmental conditions, including solid waste disposal, providing public education about personal hygiene, and cleaning disinfecting the toilets or any items areas soiled by patients' fecal matter with chlorine water at the houses of diarrhea patients. Planning and implementing health activities together with local government organizations as well as community leaders are essential to establish partnerships in understanding the local situations and problems. Prani Opchoi, Pak Thaw District Health Officer, Ratchaburi Province, said that her roles also involve health promotion and disease prevention, so she has to coordinate with other officials concerned to inform them of the need for disease prevention and control. Pak Thaw District also has the Disease Control Competent District Committee, focusing on multi sectoral cooperation and all concerned have to be informed of the current situation and then work together to find ways to resolve the problem. At Don Sai Sub-District Health Promoting Hospital today, a monthly meeting is being held for all health volunteers in the sub-district to inform them of the disease situation and health threats. At the meeting, everyone will be assigned to undertake certain disease control activities. And many of them are ready and capable of performing their tasks efficiently as they have been trained in disease surveillance in the community and reporting to the information center as soon as any irregularity occurs. Not so far away from Don Sai Sub-District Health Promoting Hospital, today, health officials from the District Health Office and the Sub-District Hospital, as well as a number of village health volunteers, are making a home visit to Pim, a former diarrhea patient, to ask about her livelihood and examine the health conditions of Pim and her family members, and to survey the conditions within and outside the house. Pim said about her last episode of diarrhea that, after eating her favorite Phnom Tan or toddy palm cake she had bought from the market, she vomited and fainted. After that, she was hospitalized with diarrhea. Today, she has fully recovered from the illness and is healthy and has been more careful about food consumption and personal hygiene. The vegetables bought from the market have to be washed thoroughly every time before cooking and she does the cooking of every meal for the safety of herself and her family members. Chutinan Titpapatson, Director Don Sai Sub-District Health Promoting Hospital, Pak Tha District, Ratchaburi Province, said that village health volunteers have been trained in basic health care, including first aid. The volunteers are those who live close to villagers and are helpful in giving health education to the people on such topics as communicable disease prevention and control. They can rapidly know of the disease occurrence in their community so they can rapidly notify the sub-district health officials to rapidly undertake disease investigation. That is the key to success in the disease control effort and the strong surveillance and rapid response teams have received a lot of support from the village health volunteers. Many village health volunteers in Don Sai sub-district 
in Pak Tho District, Ratchaburi Province, said that they would make home visits in the villages to inspect the housing conditions and identify the causes of illness, including the kitchen, the cleanliness, food consumption, and water supply, especially drinking water. The volunteers also help to give the information about the patients to the health officials and give health education to the people so that they can change their health behaviors related to hand washing, use of properly cooked food, and use of serving spoons when eating a meal together with people. They all are very cooperative. The lessons learned from the diarrhea control experience have reflected the fact that the people have to give importance to self-health care. And then create a network for knowledge sharing among district sub-district health officials and members of the community and families. And there must be a strong disease control system with readiness good intention, unity, and multi-sectoral cooperation, which are the factors contributing to the sustainable disease control competent district efforts in Bata District. <laughs>